You are listening to Savage Beauty Podcast. This is your host, Savannah. Welcome back, everyone, to Savage Beauty. Happy Wednesday. Guess what? I told you guys I would be back, okay? It's been a week. It's Wednesday, and I'm uploading, so I know I did not disappoint any of you. And if you haven't listened to last week's episode, New Year, New Skin, please stop listening to this one and go listen to that. What are you doing with your life? That one's super important. It's part one of our skincare series, and we're going to start part two today. Part one is more so about internal factors, so you need to know that before you jump into part two. For those of you who have listened, let's recap what we talked about. Um, We did talk about how having good internal health can create good skin on the outside. You know, good nutrition equals good skin. What you put into your body does show on the outside as well and so hopefully you guys have now gotten a grasp of how to have a good routine for clearing out your gut and beginning your journey to clear skin you know the skin you've always wanted so today we're going to start external factors and we're going to talk about cleansing and cleansers why it's so important let's do this Um, we're going to start with kind of a story situation first So I hear a lot of the time from clients or friends that they do not have a skincare regimen. And instead of using skincare or cleansers in general, they'll use hand soap, body wash, shampoo, um, makeup remover, makeup remover wipes, or they'll just use water. It is super important to have a skincare regimen. Let's just think about something for a minute. It's going to take a minute. Every day you are waking up and you are doing what you do on your daily basis and your, in your daily routine. You're probably touching things constantly throughout the day that are carriers of bacteria, dirt, and oil. You're heading outside, which is causing you environmental damage to your skin because of pollution, weather, whatever it is it's causing damage you're getting dirt and oil from your skin from free radicals let's just take a moment and think about something every day you're waking up and you're doing your daily routine you're constantly touching things throughout the day that are carriers of bacteria dirt and oil You're going outside, which is causing you environmental damage to your skin, like pollution, the harmful sun rays, weather, whatever it is, it's causing damage. You're getting dirt and oil on your skin from free radicals, and then at the end of the day, you're going home with all of those dirts and oils and bacteria on your skin throughout the day, and you're touching things in your house that carry those bacteria as well, and you're spreading everything. Then on top of that, you're probably touching your face throughout the day like most of us do, which is going to apply all of those dirt, oils, and bacteria from the rest of the day onto your skin. Then, even if you're showering at night, and even if you don't, then you're going to bed, and all of those dirt, oils and bacteria and free radicals from the environmental damage throughout the day is just going to be sitting on your skin. So overnight, you've left all of that stuff on your skin, right? So overnight, your skin will absorb all of those things. Think about that. You just put a ton of bacteria and dirt and oil on your skin, you don't even know where it came from, and now it's absorbing into your skin overnight. If you do not have a skincare regimen and you're not washing your face at night, over time, these things will cause sun damage, wrinkles, fine lines, breakouts, acne, and overall damage to your skin. So I want to challenge all of you to take a white cotton round and wet it and at the end of the night 
clean your face with it or just like wipe a section of your face with it what do you think you're going to see because i can tell you right now that that cotton round will not be white anymore for the most part it will probably have some like darker spots on it yellow tones like from the the dirts and oils this is what you're leaving on your face every day when you do not cleanse properly or at all. Isn't that gross? Because I think that's pretty gross. So I really hope that all of you will look at your skin in a different way now after hearing that story. Um, it is super important to have a great cleanser, you guys. There are so many different types out on the market right now. It's there's no excuse to not have one. I think people just get overwhelmed with all of the skincare that's out right now. I think there's so many brands, there's so many different things and cleansers. Like, how are you supposed to know which one to get without being overwhelmed? You know, which one is right for your skin? So, the first step to doing that is going to see an esthetician and getting a facial. Okay, so by doing this, you can even go to a dermatologist, but by doing this, you're going to get great advice and knowledge on which products will work for you, which products are going to work for your skin type, for your skin issues. You're going to learn what skin type you have, and that is key when picking out a cleanser. The other issues that are going on with your skin will also help you narrow down which cleanser is right for you. Okay. It's super important to know what skin type you have, and when picking a cleanser, it's super important to know which cleansers work for your skin type and your skin issues. Um, there are three different skin types. There's dry, combination, and oily. Dry skin usually does not produce enough oils, and it's lacking oil, which is why it's dry. It's a little more sensitive. It's a little... Um, more rough in texture. It's a little more tight. There's some redness going on. So dry skin, because it doesn't produce enough oil and it's lacking oil, we need to make sure that we're going to be cleaning it properly and moisturizing properly, which we'll talk about in another episode. Um, combination skin can be both oily to dry or oily and normal. Usually the oily parts of your skin when you have combination are just your T-zone. So your forehead, your nose, and your chin area. And those are the oily parts, like I said. The outer areas of the face are usually more dry to normal. And then of course we have oily skin, which is obviously opposite of dry skin. And the reason is because oily skin overproduces oil so that makes it a little more acne prone usually with oily skin you have a little bit bigger pores so it's a little thicker as well because you're producing more oils there are different cleansers for the different skin types so it's super important to know what skin type should have which type of cleanser when picking out the one for you there's cleansing gels, cleansing lotions, and cleansing creams. The cleansing gels, sometimes they foam and they're super popular right now. As far as cleansers go, a lot of the cleansers I see are cleansing gels that are on the market right now. Those are great for oily and combination skin type. Cleansing lotion, um, that's going to be more water-based. So that one's really great for combination skin. And then cleansing creams, since they're a little bit heavier and thick, those are going to be really great for dry and mature skin. They're really going to lock in the moistures. Uh, public service announcement, makeup remover is not cleanser. Okay, makeup remover is exactly that. It removes your makeup, and a lot of the time, makeup remover does contain oil, so please be aware of that. The makeup removing wipes as well, those are not cleansing wipes. They will not cleanse your face the way a cleanser will. And it's okay to combine these things in your regimen as you do need to remove your makeup before cleansing. 
and then when you're done removing your makeup make sure you always cleanse your face so that you can get any excess oils dirt and bacteria off of your skin that's super important you do need to cleanse your face every day twice a day i'm going to say that again just in case you didn't listen you need to cleanse your face every day twice a day once in the morning and once at night you should be using a daily cleanser every day but twice a week when you exfoliate your skin you should be be using more of an active cleanser and we'll kind of get more into active cleansers and exfoliating in a different episode but just so you kind of have a difference of what an active cleanser versus a daily cleanser is an active cleanser contains active ingredients like alpha hydroxy acids and enzymes and those are going to help exfoliate the skin so these can only be used two to three times a week and usually on the nights you're doing exfoliation and masks so we'll get him to that a little more in depth in another episode now daily cleansers are a little more gentle on the skin so they can be used in a more excessive amount so that's why daily cleansers are to be used twice a day every day they're literally made to rid the skin of oils dirt and bacteria on a daily basis that's their job their other job is to help balance out the ph of your skin so daily cleansers need to be helpful to balancing your skin and should be made for your skin type specifically if you are using a product that is not for your skin you're going to do more harm than good and in the long run that's just going to be more frustrating for you to fix so just make sure you're reading labels and ingredients and directions on your packaging or on the description part of the website when you're purchasing a cleanser if a cleanser says it's great for oily skin obviously do not use that cleanser on your dry skin um, the labels will usually tell you which skin type the cleanser is great for and if it doesn't you just need to read the description online if it does say that it's great for all skin types make sure you're confirming this with your esthetician if that product will be okay for you to use now to avoid all this hassle the easiest thing to do would just be to go get a facial from your esthetician they're going to be able to um, get the product to you directly and they will also inform you why it's beneficial for your, your skin specifically how it's going to fix your skincare problems and issues and how to use the skincare product so by getting a cleanser directly from your esthetician you're avoiding having to second guess yourself if you're getting the right product or not and you know you don't want to strip your skin of its natural oils and ph by using something that's not right for your skin like i said it's going to do more harm than good so that's all i have for you about cleansing and cleansers today um, I hope you learned a lot. Uh, next week, we'll go a little more into exfoliating and exfoliation. That's going to be a super quick episode. I want to just get more into the moisturizing and serums, but it's super important to go step by step. So next week, tune in for exfoliation. So here are some brands of skincare that I've been loving I'm not going to tell you which products specifically I'm using from them because I have combination skin and what works for me obviously may not work for you. However, these brands do have skincare for all skin types, so check them out. Um, products that you can only get from an esthetician or dermatology office that I love is Obagi, Sanitas, Image, and PCA. My current cleanser is from Obagi. I love it. These are more medical grade higher grade skincare brands so they're going to obviously do a lot more for your skin than the stuff you get from sephora and ulta now i am not knocking anything from sephora and ulta because i do use a lot of products from them as well so the brands i use from sephora and ulta mirad or before juice beauty used to the people first aid beauty glam glow and origins my favorite for cleansing is Murad. It's a little bit more of a customizable program. So if you can't really afford the medical grade stuff, 
um, check out Murad. It's not super expensive and your esthetician can kind of guide you on which products to get. Most of us as like estheticians, we probably have used Murad before at some point in our lives and we know how it works. So I hope that you guys can find a cleanser that works for you. I hope you go get a facial and learn a little bit more about your skin as well. And next week we will talk about exfoliation. All right. So have a great day and we'll tune in next week to learn more about our skincare. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop.